Hi everybody, uh, Paul McCartney here and this is going to be a review on chapter 7. I'm going to go fast you guys, I don't have detailed explanations, I'm going to talk you through them and then let, leave the answers up to you. I'll give you the answers but I'll leave the work up to you on this, okay? Let's go sit through some formulas, remember sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1 and that gave these two guys when I divided by sine squared and divided by cosine squared. This is the one when I divided by cosine squared, the top one. This is the one when I divided by sine squared right there. And then you can move these around and interchange those all around to get some different identities as you've seen in our prior lessons. Okay, uh, double angles, sine of 2x equals 2 sine x cosine x. Cosine of 2x, there's three formulas, that one, that one, and that one right there. Okay, the tangent of 2x is uh, 2 tan x over 1 minus tan squared x. Okay, and then the sum of angles. Um, uh, remember, sine goes SCSCS, so sa uh, sine, cosine, and then same sine, cosine, sine. So SCSCS, okay, cosine goes uh, cosine, cosine, minus sine, sine, so COS. So it starts with cosines, has the opposite sine in the middle, sine, sine. That's what the, so this CC stands for the, uh, this right here. This O stands for opposite sine, and then uh, SS for sine, sine stands for this S right here. Okay, and then um, uh, the sum of the angles for tan of x is um, uh, uh, tan x plus tan y over 1 minus tan x tan y. Okay, so let's simplify these, you guys. Okay, on this one, again, I'm just going to talk you through this. This one, I would change everything to sines and cosines. This is 1 over cosine. This is sine over cosine over sine. And you're going to manipulate that, and you should get to, um, let me go backwards, uh, secant squared. Okay. Okay, this one right here, I would probably use the identity on this guy right here, the, the uh, cosecant squared of x right there. Okay, that's uh, equal to 1 plus cotangent squared. And then when you uh, distribute the tangent squared through the 1 plus cotangent squared, you'll see uh, it, it should come out to 1 reasonably easy. Okay, um, okay. this one here, I would, I would get common denominators on this one. I'd multiply, the common denominator is secant x minus 1 times secant x plus 1. So I'd multiply this one by secant x plus 1 over secant x plus 1. And this one secant x minus 1 over secant x minus 1. And then simplify, combine like terms, you should get uh, 2 cotangent squared of x. Okay, on this one right here, all right, so what I would do is set up a right triangle. This is cosecant. Cosecant is the reciprocal of sine, and since sine is opposite over hypotenuse, then cosecant is hypotenuse over opposite. So I'd set up a generic right triangle, make 5 the hypotenuse, and the opposite side to be 4. You'll find that it'll be a 3, 4, 5 right triangle. This right here is code word for uh, quadrant 3. Okay, so when you plug in your tangent of x, so find your tangent of x, and it's going to be positive. Your tangent of x off that little right triangle is going to be opposite over adjacent right there. You should get four-thirds. Okay, all right, find a numerical value for one trig function. Okay, on this guy right here, um, if I t 1 over cotangent is the same as tangent. So this is actually tangent squared right here. This is actually 1 over cosine squared is, I'm sorry, 1 over cosine is secant. So this is actually secant squared. So this is actually tangent squared minus secant squared. All right, and I'll let you finish that up, and you guys should get um, uh, sine of x equals um, uh, the 1 half right there. Okay, uh, let's see. So, uh, okay, this one right here. Okay, cosecant, again, is hypotenuse over opposite. Right here, this is code word for quadrant 3 right there. So you're going to use your double angle. You're going to need your tangent of x for your double angle. So quadrant 3, tangent is positive. So you're off this right triangle when you get your tangent. This, again, is a 3, 4, 5 right triangle. Um, okay, you should get uh, 24 sevenths when you use your tangent uh, double angle. Find each. Sine of 255. Okay, 255 is, uh, remember, 270 is uh, uh, down there on the bottom of the y-axis. So 255 is in quadrant quadrant 3, so it's the same as in your reference angle 75 degrees, and sine is negative in quadrant 3, so it's a negative sine of 75, and then uh, 75 is 45 plus 30, so you use your sum of the angles, 45 plus 30, and don't forget it's negative all of that, and you should get this answer right here. Okay, uh, this one tangent 345, okay, 360 is a whole circle, so this is right off the, the whole circle, this is in quadrant 4, so this is tangents negative in quadrant 4, 15 degrees off. So it's negative tangent of 15, and 15 is the same as uh, 45 minus 30. So use your tangent of the sum of angles, 45 minus 30, and don't forget it's negative all of that. All right, uh, let's see, what do I have here? Okay, so find the tan of x minus y. So you're going to use your, your difference formula for the tan of x minus y. Here's cosine. 
So cosine is um, is opposite over hypotenuse. This should, actually this should be three fifths. This shouldn't be five thirds. This should be three fifths right there. Let me let me change that right now. This should be three fifths. So that should be the five. This should be the three. X base three. Okay, so uh, that should be three fifths, and then. Okay, so this is going to be a 3, 4, 5 right triangle, and it says that uh, x is in quadrant 2. So since I'm finding tangent, uh, tangent's negative in quadrant 2. Um, and then um, sine of x is, this is going to be a 5, 12, 13 right triangle, opposite over hypotenuse right there. Um, this is adjacent over hypotenuse, and this is in quadrant uh, 2 also, so the tangent's negative in there. So when set up, there's two different right triangles, one for x and one for y. And you get your tangent ratios from both of those and use your tangent formula and you should get uh, uh, 33 over 56. Okay, uh, all right, so, okay, this one you're going to use your, your cosine, uh, cosine plus sine sine, okay, and then plug them in and you should get uh, negative cosine. Okay, uh, okay, 0.8 is the same as 4 fifths, you guys, so 4 over 5 is adjacent over hypotenuse, so... Um, this tells me that uh, 270 to 360, this is quadrant 4 right there. So cosine is positive in quadrant 4, sine is negative in quadrant 4. So get your 3, 4, 5 right triangle again right there, and you should get uh, negative 24, 25. Okay, solve. All right, so you're going to solve this guy right here. Okay, I'm going to just give you a hint on this guy. I would change, since that's cosine, I would change this sine squared to 1 minus uh, cosine squared and distribute the 4 through, and that one just ended up being a big old mess, you guys. I scratched that one when I started doing that in class. got to be a little just too hard right here. Okay, this, this one, go ahead and factor, you guys. Treat this, uh, just factor this, and um, so this would, it looks like it's going to factor to, to uh, 2 cosine x um, uh, minus 1, and then cosine x minus 2, and then set those factors equal to 0, and you should get uh, power 6 and 11 power 6. Okay, subtract root 3, divide by 2, you get negative root 3 over 2. Sine of x is negative root 3 over 2 at uh, 7 power over 6 and 11 power over 6.